Michel, for this one. Uh, thank you, everyone, uh, having us for this event. Uh, my name is Dr. Ahmad Mazloum. I am from, I'm based in Cairo. I represent GNP at Minat region. Uh, our, our agenda for today, actually, uh, I will try to give an introduction for CRDR uh, process, uh, digitization uh, process, computerized radiography, digital radiography, and a few application from different industries like oil and gas, security, military, and etc. As we all know that uh, all of the digital radiography is not only applicable in healthcare or oil and gas, but also in different segments like power generation, aviation, and transportation, and et cetera. And uh, uh, from your side, as an expert for radiography process, we all know that we will start by different tubes and generator as X-ray or gamma ray source. And we take our shots through uh, film, uh, conventional film, and using their equipment for chemicals or whatever. And now our third part for this issue for this presentation regarding to digital radiography, even CR or DR. Uh, tubes and generator, uh, it will be divided in different stages from different power, even from portable, stationary, or mobile X-ray uh, uh, tubes or X-ray machines. And if we will go through, uh, if we are searching for a reliability and safety, for sure the first answer should be digital radiography. Digital radiography, it will be split between three different sectors, and we will discuss uh, each one in details during our. Ahmed, presentation. I'm sorry to uh, just cut in. I just sure. got a message that your sound is very low. Maybe you can. Um, sure. Now, now I can. Uh, I can. Increase. Yeah, that would be better. Okay. Thank you. Thanks for all. Thank you, Michelle, for this notification. So digital radiography, it will be split into three different main three sections. First one is film digitizer. Second one is computerized radiography. Uh, uh, and the third one is digital detector array or DDE. All of these three different parts considering digital radiography in different codes and name or specifications. Uh, the first one is film digitizer because I, I didn't go through this one in details because my colleague already, uh, Dr. Dr. Sherpel and my colleague Pavel already go in details from this section and my colleague Michelle from previous presentation for film digitizers. And uh, one more thing which I need to highlight it and I will catch it from my colleague Dr. Sherpel for the uh, uh, optical sensitivity. Uh, according to Ripian 14096, uh, and he uh, have a very great presentation actually today for classify uh, the, the films depends on the class, even DS or DB or DA. But more thing which I need to highlight it here from this one is 4.7. 4.7, this is the highest optical density we can able to achieve comparing with Ripian 14096. And also this one, it will be approved from BAM, as we all know. Uh, for CR, this is two main, main things from computerized radiography. Uh, we are using phosphor image plate. And this, this one is, is named computerized radiography, or we short it by CR. And we are using a different uh, CR system uh, to scan this film uh, after our shots, even for small uh, pipes or big pipe diameters. Uh, exactly like like conventional film, we have we have different type of film with different sizes, even 10 by 24, 10 by 40 roll for pipeline inspection. All of this one also we are using the same, but instead of silver contents, we are using phosphor image plates. Uh, scanning it will be from uh, 70 and 35 micron, uh, covering straight and quilt standard, BAM certificates. Uh, IB class between 100 to 140, film orchestration production, high flexibility image plate uh, from this one, uh, uh, contactless plate transparent, and improved backscatter reduction. This is very important in different applications, especially for oil and gas sector. Uh, and we have excellent image uh, quality, and I give my last slides, my last part from this one to show uh, how is the quality for CR or DR showing to the team. Uh, CR system, we have different uh, type of scanners, sorry, different type of scanners, even for film or roll, depends on whatever application or segments or project you are using our, our film from this, this one. 
uh, as we discussed, we have different sizes, 14 by 17, 8 by 10 inches, 10 by 12, 15 by 30 centimeters, whatever you need. And we have rigid filmic cassette and we have flexible cassette. We can use it in both types, even as I mentioned, rigid or flexible. How is the, how, how it works for CR? CR, we have three different process or steps. The first one, preparation and exposing the X-ray tubes. Second one, we scanning the film. Third one, we can reviewing or archiving our film and we'll discuss this one in details in the next slides. Uh, we have five different steps for computerized radiography. Yes, this is very simple by the way, but we will discuss in 20 minutes or 30 minutes, but at the least, if you can take a zero shot in few seconds from this one, and considering 50% time from the conventional uh, X-ray shots for this even X-ray or gamma ray. First two steps, the first one, it, the phosphor screen, uh, it interested to uh, soft or hard cassette with or without uh, lead screen. Radiation pattern exposed on the phosphor image plate creating a latent image. This is very important. After that, we will scan the film in, uh, in the scanner, as we mentioned, in different type of scanner, depends on the application. And the fourth step, the phosphor screen is scanned and digital image is displayed on the workstation. And the last one, which will be very important, that this phosphor image screen is erased after the scanning and ready to be reused many times for different applications. Uh, this one is practically how we can able to show and fix our CR uh, film cassette, again, even flexible or rigid, and we'll put our X-ray shots in different side and we can take our shots to scan the film. Uh, this is uh, the previous one to use the flick, rigid film cassette, and this one, if we can using the flexible film cassette from this one, and in different, uh, I saw one project in Oman, for example, we can using one mechanism to, to scan not only weld for pipeline, but to scan the body for the pipe using certain scanning, and they will fix the X-ray machines with CR from over the side, and they will take different shots within seconds. This is another shot, how we can able to fix the rigid film cassette and put the X-ray in another side from the pipe and we'll get these images from this one. Different application from this one, I will give an example quickly for security and military. And the problem here to inspect uh, suspicious packages and we need portable system with fast resources and we need for thin and flexible capturing media. The solutions from these applications, we can use IPC2. IPC2, like D D4 or D7 in the conventional film, we have IPC2 and IPS. Both of them have different type of applications. We can use this one. The most convenient for security and military application from this one is IPC2. This is very shorter exposure regarding to this one, and we can able to get faster inspections. On-site scanning give immediate and detectable results. It's easy to handle and uh, rob three packages. Uh, another, another application from CR uh, is a military inspe uh, inspection to use a, a military vest, for example. This is a very critical issues and the only solution from this one to inspect is CR or DR using X-ray or gamma ray machines. Uh, another shot for uh, military, we can easily get these shots in one, uh, this is easy to get uh, this picture in one shot, regardless the width from different size, because as we all know, the different size, different depths from each part from this uh, specimen, we need different exposure time to get this one, but CR and DR we can able to control and they get these images in one shot. Uh, for aerospace applications also, we have different critical parts and uh, one more benefit from CRDR can able to get these different shots from this one, even body or brakes or whatever. Uh, we have different types, as we mentioned at the beginning, for CR, for different application, even for conventional CR, uh, conventional CR phosphor image blade and roll film, we have different types, depends on your applications. Uh, different resolutions, different uh, density, optical optical density we can able to gain and you can compare whatever you need and you can choose whatever item you are interested in. Uh, behind, behind the CR, we have uh, CR applications. Each mesh, uh, we have digital radiography 
and digital radiography in some parts, in some codes, instead of digital, we name it direct radiography. But both of them should be considered an abbreviation for DR. Uh, each method has different strengths. They, they had different strengths, different uh, advantage and limitation should be considered and depends on the application from each one. Uh, and number of exposure in certain time should be considered. CR completely different than DR for the certain times or the number of shots you are taking per each techniques. Uh, this is a brief comparison between CR and DR. For CR, it will be easy, easy to carry to carry up this one. Uh, also usable for NDD application for world inspection uh, can be used when line is powered. This is very important comparing with DR. But compare, uh, for DR, this is again very short exposure time comparing with CR because in CR, as I said in the beginning, it will be considered 50% time from exposure time for co comparing with conventional. Uh, if I will take, for example, any shots by conventional by one minute, we are able to calculate our CR uh, shot time by 50%, so we will consider 30 seconds. But for DR, it will take only four or five or six or eight seconds maximum. Time here is crazy, actually. And it has to be used in during the power is shut off. This is very important comparing with CR. Uh, digital digital radiography uh, digital radiography with rigid flat panel we are not using con uh, flexible or rigid film cassette like CR but here we are using rigid flat panel and a few company also make this flat panel wireless with battery so you can able to use it without any cables here to connect it with your laptop uh, this is the uh, electrons radiations or absorption from different photons once we x-ray gun to the digital radiography detectors and we can able to get uh, reduce the requirement photon per images and we can reduce non-relevant signal noise and we can able to control this one from our control unit. How, how the digital radiography or DR can work in using the digital detector? The first, uh, again, like CR, we are using three different steps. First one, to set up the detector in front of elbow or pipes or the items which you are in planning to inspect. Second one, we are using acquisitions process, and we are reviewing this one. Uh, how, how again, again, this uh, for CR, we are using six different steps, but for, for DR, we are using only four. First one, placing the DR panel, as we're showing in the last picture, adjust the exposure parameters, radiation patterns exposure to the panel. And the fourth one, the panel, it will be convinced in instant radiation intensity into the uh, proportional and digital electronic signal. Then we can take in this shot and we can take these images. Then you are come to digital process after that. After we get these images, we have a lot of things to do actually to improve the resolutions, quality, and we will show the next picture how is the quality of this image it will come to you. Uh, this flow chart, it will compare to you the process saving using conventional radiography process comparing with CR and DR. Regarding to the time saving, it will be a lot of saving time here. For CR, it will be considered 50%. For DR, maybe more than 80% saving comparing with conventional film. I will give you a few pictures quickly for what we are we what we gain practically at different sites, at different projects, at different countries for different applications. For this one in Bahrain country for corrosion under isolation in 2015, and we will get these images. Uh, very important thing I need to highlight it here that we are taking this shot but in conventional radiography in four minutes, and using CR, we are taking in only 60 seconds. You can see here how much we are saving time to get best images in 25 minutes percentage saving comparing the conventional one. Another one in Bahrain for weld inspection. Again, you can see here how much saving conventional radiography we are using, taking this shot in bad images comparing with this one in two minutes. And using CR, we are taking only in 30 seconds. 
30 seconds here, uh, 30 seconds, 36 seconds. And also you can observe here how is the IQI will gain using the CR images. In Kuwait, this valve and uh, this valve, uh, if we are taking this valve in conventional radiography, I think we are need a lot of different shots, depends on the thickness for this valve. But using CR, we can able to get these images clearly from this one. And here also you can able to accumulate how many threads for this valve, how is the connections, how if we have any field here, you can observe it. Conventional radiography to take this shot, it will take and bad images, it will take eight images, eight minutes, CR two minutes only, and the DR, as you see, it's only eight seconds. You see how much saving time comparing with conventional radiography. In Kuwait, also another specimen we can take this one for CR, we'll get this image. Please observe how much saving per each shot. Wait another shot, we can take these images here. In uh, Saudi Aramco in 2016, also we have a lot, a lot in practical demo from this one. And uh, to using to inspect this ilbu, we can able to get these images here. Again, this is our IQI, and you can see how many uh, wires we can able to see. I think this is number seven or eight, so you can able easily to uh, compliance with your codes and uh, uh, cover the specification and code requirement. Uh, this one, as I mentioned, you can see here, 75% time saving comparing with conventional radiography time. Again, this is only this is not only these issues, but all the suppliers also modify a lot of things. And if you are asking for new era for digital images. The only thing which I can able to support you and reply to you, this is Flash Filter. Flash Filter is a unique images enhancement software tool based upon in technology bring NDT inspection to advanced level. And this is high productivity with more reading comfort, fast and constant results, no retakes or even shorter exposure time with lower label costs or job we can be considered when we are make any benefits or regarding to the cost. But here, regarding to the quality, I will show you different shots for the even CR or DR images and how the suppliers modify these images using one icon flash filter to optimize and increase and increase the quality for this image. For example, if we are taking this shot for aluminum inspections and the language for codes to translate the darkness and resolutions is something named gray value. Here you can see the step wedge for different thickness step wedges and how we, how number of gray value we can able to take it here. Standard and the code split the gray value between white and black to one uh, to one sixteen thousand different gray value between white and black. And depends on the supplier software or screens, we can able to modify and increase the number of the or the number of the gray value within the pictures. And if the supplier modifies this one using flash filter in one click, you can able to get these images. So here you can see how much gray value it will be increased from this two number to this number. You can see, and it will jump this picture from here to this one. Okay, and you can see here different porosity. For example, once we are increase the gray value, it will be clearly appearance comparing with the conventional, I will name it conventional CR or conventional DR. This is a conventional, again, this is not conventional film business. This is a conventional CR. CR or DR 10 or 12 years ago. And once we are using this flash filter icons, we can able to increase the picture from this one to this one. And again, I need also to highlight it for IQI appearing here. Uh, this one, I will show you different pictures regarding to different applications. You can see how, how is the flash filter showing and improving the pictures to get from right side to left side. 
for corrosion or wall thickness corrosions. You can see this one. Yeah, we here we can see different appearance for little bit corrosion. But if I will push on the click or the flash filter, you can see clearly here this one how much it will be appearance for this one. So here you can able easily to decide how this wall thickness corrosion will be found. Again, for this valve, for conventional CR or DR, we can able to get these images. But even if we are using the flash filter, we can able to get this one. And here you can see crack clearly appear. We can before accept it. And using flash filter now, it will be clearly appear and for sure will be rejected. Uh, if we are asking for erosion, here one, yeah, if, if you are high experience for this one, yeah, we can able to decide if we have if we have erosion here or not, but if I will give you this flash filter, it will be clearly mentioned that we have erosion here and it should be rejected or at least evaluated. Uh, this one we showed before. Uh, another more practical images also we are taking a different size. One of them in Aramco upcake on these shots using CR or DR we are taking this one. But if we are apply flash filter we can able to easily to get these clearly images comparing with the previous one. Uh, raw images in another Aramco site it's named Shoaiba one we can able also to get these images here. Again, you can see how is IQI showing and we can able also here to measure the thickness, wall thickness, and we'll discuss this one later in details and also the pipe diameter area. This is all optionally can be easily decided using the software. Raw images in Rastanura, another, another Aramco sites named Rastanura, also after flash filter, it will be clearly appear like that. Raw images in Saudi Kayan, we can also get these clear images using flash filter. Raw images for weld inspection in Oman, gas pipes, we can also get these raw images. And after flash filter, it will come clearly here mentioned this one. Okay. Uh, this one for chlor inspection tank in Egypt, uh, we can uh, the, using uh, CR or DR, we are put it here and we can use the X-ray tube from another side here and we can, we get these images. Uh, this thickness here, it's 18 mm using 260 kilovolt and with three m uh, mil uh, pair. And we taken another shot using gamma rays with iridium 192 and the Zakuri here is 22. Conventional, we are take this one in uh, 220 seconds and using DR it's only six seconds. You can see how much saving time for the X-ray tube shots using this one. As a safety wise, as again, as Dr. Sherpa mentioned, you can see how much saving for safety for this application, if you see or DR. One more site in Egyptian for spherical tanks. Uh, this is 14,000 capacity one. Uh, with different shots, we are spent two weeks there. We are taking different shots here with thickness for, uh, 47 mm. Using conventional X ray, we are taking this one in 100 seconds. Using gamma ray, five minutes. For CR, it's only 55 seconds. So you are saving 50% from uh, time shots for all of the film taken for all these spherical tanks. So that means instead of one month inspection, we can able to inspect all of this spherical tank in 15 days. Uh, in Kuwait, uh, another shots practically. Uh, you can see here how much saving from weld inspection. Kuwait, another shot. Uh, this one is very important also, and I need to highlight it from this one because once uh, before we will went or make any practical demo on site from different companies, for example, we are asking him to make the conventional shots. This one for chlor, he will take already technical shots and we take the conventional 90 seconds and we get CR in 55 seconds. And now this image, it will be clearly mentioned that this image is better than the conventional one. But if you will apply the flash filter randomly, we got these images and we found certain defect approved before, didn't show in the image we are taking before, which will be accepted. And now this, the same edges after flash filter applicable should be rejected. Uh, 
using DR, the, the previous one using CR, using for DR applications, put the uh, single wall, single image X-ray using 14.5 mm, conventional 90 second, and we got the DR images here for this one in six seconds only. This is for another application for uh, firefighting cylindrical, and we get this image. You see how much saving time comparing with conventional with CR and DR. In another factory in, in Egypt. Yes, one more thing which I need also to highlight here from this one is a corrosion. Corrosion is very big name and very big, very big words actually. And all of the suppliers and the challenges from different suppliers should be, should be following to how much saving for corrosion. If I were told you this CR or DR or digital radiography application can able to reduce, corru reduce corrosion by 22%, this is a very great achievement from CR or DR. Many countries paid a lot of money for name of corrosion. But if we are applying the CR or DR for to saving corrosion under aeration or measuring the defects or discontinuities and measure the thickness for pipes or elbow for corrosion pipes, and I can easily get these images to you. You can see here how much saving to remove the isolation from pipe and measure the thickness even by ultrasonic or thickness gauges. And we can use this one without removing the isolation. Here, you using this image, you can see here the isolation width. This pipe easily, once you are using your mouse, using your software, you can able easily to measure the thickness for pipes. Here is 4.49 mm. 5.56 once you make like this one you can easily take three or 2.56 here because the flow it will come from this side and most of the erosion and the reduction of thickness or the reduction of thickness should be come from this area for air. again these images we can easily able to take this one from cr or dr without removing the isolation from the pipes uh, these pipes with fluid, conventional, we get this one, and using flash filter, we can get these best images. Uh, one more thing from this application, again, once you are come to our digital radiography, and my colleague Bevel also highlighted from this one into his, uh, his presentation that we can also able easily to get your report. Report is very important comparing with a lot of techniques on a lot of NDT methods that you can able to get your report with your images for name of projects, for how much X-ray you are get, the name, your evaluation, if you have any comments, accept or reject according to your code wise, and your approval, and you can send it by email, saving, printed, whatever you need this one. This would be easy, very easy to come this one. Again, also, you can also able to put your logo and you can easily create your report once you got any images from in the different applications as a documented wise. Uh, wall thickness, this, this one, uh, this issue also one from the main benefits from different software that you can also able to, to measure that wall thickness from pipes or area or diameter, whatever you need. Once you put your mouse here, you can see the thickness from pipe. Uh, again, this one also as a digitization system, which we are already speaking, speaking on it, as I mentioned, the film digitizer in the first part for CR or DR, CR images or DR, all of the three process, we can, we can send our images or get our images through software to our laptop or screen. Again, also with DR, okay? So once you are get your screen here, you can easily able to send to your server, your company server or the cloud or whatever. You can able easily to share with your colleague to take any expert uh, evaluation or decisions, or you can send to your partners or end user to evaluate your part, unless if you will be into the same country or another country or another city or another project, you can share your data together and you can evaluate whatever you need. One more benefit from this one, again, now we are discussing the time, we are discussing the safety, we are discussing the price. One more thing it will be very important is the Dicondi issues. Dicondi, if, if we are speak, speaking to DICOM, DICOM is ASTM requirement for healthcare applications, according to ASTM standard. Um, but for 
industrial side, we are named DICONDI. It's name of digital images and the communication for non-destructive evaluations, okay? Uh, this is not only for CR or DR, by the way, but uh, eddy current, immersion test, thermography, all this one should get all of your image in Dicondi images or Dicondi process or extensions. What Dicondi it will evaluate to us, so, so now we are ensure customers not be locked in one property form. This is very important and requirement, as, uh, as I mentioned, from uh, ASTEM requirement. Ensure that data integrity no manipulations of raw data. This also is very important. Uh, inform the user of where the image was taken, who taken the images, from which modalities or whatever information you need. All of this information should be absorbed by Dicondi. Dicondi is much more than an images. The image is a complete report in itself, an international standard that proving a common platform for users when dealing with another entity images. Uh, summary from this one is the Icondi platform is enabled data sharing between system, location, and any other customers. Um, in brief, the Icondi is reviewing, sharing data, report your data, archiving, and acquire your data. This is the Icondi platform naming and the why Ask them or another code very highlighted from this one as a recommendation to buy your system covering the Icondi requirement. This is, an, this, this is an, an example to all of our customers. This is this application for CR or DR, not only applicable for the service providers. I'm insist to put this one here to, to told you that Aramco itself as an end users own a lot of CR or DR units to their sites as an owner size, not only service provider size. This is very important to show how is the Aramco team insisted to buy this one as a very benefits application to their different sites. Aramco own more than 15 different CR units into different projects around the Saudi Kingdom. Um, conclusion for CRDR comparing with conventional one, we can reduce impact of strict governmental visualization uh, on isotopes, improve h and S track record, reduce the operation cost structures, optimize the assets to deliver a consistent result to end customer, and increase image quality and working throughput as we saw using flash filter as an example. By the way, flash filter is an option. This is not insist to be into your software. And here you can see how much saving regarding the, the main four factor for any images, safety, production, high production, high quality, and saving environmental or HS code. Mm. Um, future in tomorrow for digitizations, because not only CR or DR, we can collect the data through this one, but for remote visual inspection, Remote visual inspection also we are collect the data. Ultrasonic we collect different data. AD current, radiography as our speech today. All of this technology on different NDT methods, you are trying to collect your different data, different images in one software, allow you to evaluate your product properly and increase your product quality. This is the equations which we need to satisfy and recovering using this one. At the end, Inspection work, once you are collect all of this data and different entity methods, you can easily able to communicate with cloud, access to your mobile to see how is the integrity for your partners or project. It's more security using experience from different application. You can chat with your team, uh, transit the data, and you can asset integrity management in different software. And you can also able to increase your server and to collect as possible big data from this. Thank you. Thank you very much, Ahmed. Very interesting. I really appreciate everyone who has done the presentations. Could you please switch off your screen share? Sure. Okay. Now, for everyone, there a few questions came through, but there's one thing I just got a uh, got a note here that um, a lot of uh, a lot of people stayed really here for the duration of the of the complete presentation. If someone wants a certification of particip participation, please contact me 
uh, with your complete address and we will provide this to you as a PDF. That's something we, are, it's, uh, I'm surprised how many people want this, but that's not a problem. Uh, we will of course uh, provide this. Okay, um, okay, why am I not on here? Okay, doesn't matter. Um, so here are a couple of questions and I think that goes to, let me see. Um, the first question is uh, probably to Pavel, does the flash filter work with scanned film in Dicondi format? Yeah, sure. Uh, with uh, scanned films uh, have no difference uh, from uh, CRDR digitized images. So it's, you can, yeah, you can uh, apply flash filters or similar in uh, Rhythm software, EcoScreen and, and other Dicondi software. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Another question is how many times can a CR plate be used? Um, I can answer this one, uh, Michel, yes, because please. this this question is is very very interesting questions, and we are we hearing these questions from different customers actually, and they really appreciate this one. Uh, if we are uh, comparing CR, usually we can able to use it for more than one thousand shots, and I have one customer using the one CR film for more than three thousand shots. And usually our calculations depends on between 300 and 500 shots. And it should be lower price than conventional film. Because if you are comparing one film, one, one box of conventional film content 100 film packages in mm -hmm. any suppliers, uh, cost, for example, $400. And the CR image uh, film cassette cost, cost also $400, but this one, for CR images taken more than 300 or 500 shots in different applications. So mm -hmm. saving cost, the long run, even short run, you can able to save a lot of money using this one. Calculation side, 300 to 500. Practical side, if you can able to save your, your phosphor Im images and you can handling properly, you can reach to more than 1,000, even 3,000 shots. Okay. Thank you very much. I think this was a, clear, a complete answer. Thank you. Uh, the next question here is, uh, I would say again, going to software. It's from CR plate. How is the transformation of the grayscale done to get a raw 16 bit TIFF image? Okay. Maybe you, you yeah, uh, please. Yeah, you thank first. you from this one. Usually we, uh, we couldn't able to reach even one, uh, 10 or 12 gray value or even 5,600 gray value. No, this is not the right way. We, yes, the code, it splits the number between this range, but practically wise, we are between the lighter and the higher uh, gray value should be between uh, 200, uh, 250,000 to 35,000 gray value, for example. So this is the range for our images to how we can able to play on it between the darker side and the lighter side. But to reach the high level from this one, unfortunately, no, we, it, we are didn't see practically why this number of gray using our software, but could give us a limit how we can able to gray, not less or improve this number to approve these screens in front of the customers. Yeah, I could add uh, from my side that yes, uh, we have 16 bit maximum. So if a CR provides 12 bits, we just store 12 bit per byte and have four bits zero, field zero now. Yeah. Okay, uh, thank you, Pavel. Um, is there any, um, other question or any input from our team directly, um, please. Michael, yeah. I think that you have uh, also two questions from uh, Surekma. So it's how flash filter is enhancing the raw image. This is the, the first one. Okay, I didn't get that. Maybe a Pavel. Oh raw yeah. Image. Yeah. How how is the flash filter enhancing the raw image? Enhancing, yeah. The... Okay. Uh... I cannot understand it quite well. Uh, we have always a raw image from CR, DR film digitizers. So, 
I didn't. I didn't get it. Sorry. Yeah, my okay. my, my simple my simple uh, uh, reply from this one, Michelle, that we we uh, flash filter uh, at least in, improve and increase the number of gray value. As I mentioned in my slides for the cast iron product, you, if you can see the step wedge for thickness gauges in down, how many gray value it will be reach or number of gray it will be reach. Once the supplier improves the grave value, that means they will increase the number of grave value within the pictures or the li limit of this one. The picture is improved from the raw images to the high quality or flash filter images, which in give you the high resolutions, high contracts, and give you a high quality image. With this one. Okay, thank you, Ahmed. I think um, that should answer the question. Otherwise, please. Uh, um, the, the person who asked the question, please um, specify. Um, yeah, from my side, I think uh, um, this was good. We got a, a couple of um, suggestions already, and we will definitely um, uh, take this into consideration for our next uh, uh, event like this. Um, if there are no further... Um, there is um, one. There yeah? is new one. There okay, should, yeah. right. Uh, yeah, I can I can uh, respond as flash filter is a trade name. What's exactly is the transformation, etc. What is the the underlying underlying filtering? Uh, yeah, for doing flash flash filter. I agree. This is a commercial name. Uh, I know a couple of techniques uh, uh, used to. To do to to implement this uh, flash effect, uh, and uh, both of them they uh, enhance uh, de uh, details with low contrast to make high contrast, bigger contrast. So uh, parts with uh, uh, smooth parts they uh, they stay uh, not uh, not changed, but uh, pixels with uh, with changes, uh, they they enhance areas with uh, with with contrast with with low contrast. Yeah, sorry for this explanation. Maybe maybe not clear. So better to better to draw or yeah show the matrix. Yeah. Well, first of all, what I would like to say to the audience is. I can imagine that a lot of questions regarding products, procedures are now coming up. Please contact me or us through the um, uh, LinkedIn or to uh, the, uh, the emails I, I gave it to you. And I will make sure that your request is being transferred to the right uh, people. And then you can have a, a special discussion, phone calls, uh, um, online meeting, whatever it takes. Um, Otherwise, I'm sure we would, we would be here for hours. <laughs> so that's something what I really encourage to do so. And that is what is the purpose of that, that event we have to in, enhance the communication. Yeah. So um, from the time, I think we have now the one and a half hours. That's exactly where I wanted to have the meeting. Um, if there are no further um, questions or input, um, um, the in, in inner team will going to be here for another five minutes, but officially I would then end the um, uh, this event. Want to thank to everyone uh, uh, being here and uh, participating. The recordings will be on the YouTube channel. That will take me a while uh, to um, to create. I, I'll try to have it available by tomorrow. Uh, otherwise, if there are no um, further um, uh, input. Thank you very much um, for this. And there is another message prop yeah, to me. Okay, I will get uh, to this in a minute. Um, okay, um, Pavel, there's one question uh, coming in from Rich uh, in direct message to me. It says, I use the flash filter while working with the GE system. The flash filter analyzes the subsections of pixel gray values and performs specific algorithm to apply uh, sorry, to, to apply, I lost it, uh, to, to apply the appropriate enhancement when reconstructing the full image. Keep in mind that the raw data integrity is retained. Would recommend further discussion on system requirement as far as 
uh, calibration function requirements from industry standards? These are two different questions. Any, um, you want to comment or Ahmed? Uh, no, no, no. Oops. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Maybe uh, this is a better explanation of the flash filter idea. Yeah. Okay. We Okay, Henry. Well, like I said, if you have an, uh, if we could not answer uh, a specific question, please uh, get back to me via the uh, communications I provided. Okay, then. Um, yeah, let's let's wait a minute. I'm going to stop the recording now.